All right, so we got one quarter plus one fifth. And again, we got to get the bottoms the same. We're going to find the lowest common denominator. So, you know, some there's a couple of ways of doing it. Um, some people like to list the multiples of four like that, and then they like to list the multiples of five, five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 30, and so on. And they find the first number that the, the first number that pops up in each list is 20. And so your lowest common denominator is 20. So that's one way of doing it. Um, but the way I usually teach it is just to, you know, you can say, well, five times four or five times four will give us the same bottom, right? So we make the factors the same on the bottom. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. But we can't just turn a quarter into one twentieth. Um, we got to multiply this by five over five. So one quarter becomes five twentieths. Um, so, and again, it's the same quantity. Like, think about it this way. A quarter is 25 cents. Five twentieths is like five uh, nickels, right? Because okay. there's 20 nickels in a dollar, right? So five nickels is the same as 25 cents, and one quarter is the same as 25 cents. So it's the same quantity. It just looks like a different thing. It's a different fraction, right? And then here we have four twentieths, right? Right. So nine twentieths overall. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. 